Yo, what's up? We are now outside my home and behind me here you see the Mercedes EQV 300. Yeah, that's what it's called. So it's a fully electric van and it has 100 kilowatt hour battery and seven seats. This is a proper big ass family car. Yeah, so anyway, today I'm gonna drive to Yalo and see if I can get there in a single charge. This car has supposedly a VLTP range of 357 kilometers, but it's going to be freaking cold today. I think minus 21 degrees in Gul. <laughs> so um, I've been charged to, well, I charged overnight. It was 100%, now it's 97 or something. Hopefully we can get it up quick. So just show you guys. Yeah, this is proper German premium auto. Oh yeah, like adjustable, electric adjustable seat with memory. What is that, schmutz? Okay. Um, also, of course, electric sliding doors, two sides. Yeah, captain's uh, chair. I have some crap here, sorry for that. Okay, and the back. Well, we don't have much uh, stuff here. EC13000, huh? how about that? Yeah, look at this. We have some tripod and stuff in the back here. So not much cargo. Yeah, close this one. So let's check it out. How many percent do we have now? I've been charging overnight and also preheated. Ooh, ooh, let's get in there. Oh yeah. Wow, the car. Really? The car says 198 kilometers of range. <laughs> yeah, we had 97%. Okay, so now we just have to enter. We can go to knob here and then Okay, just do something like this. You see, you see how great the navigation is. We go to Yellow. I know Yellow is right here. Let's see if we can find the charging station. There, there, there. E-Tankstelle finden. Wait. So, okay, yes, go. Oh shit, that woman, I forgot. Every time I navigate, I get that woman and I can't silence her. Let me show you here. See if... No, shut up. Settings. Um, if you go to you know, uh, system, audio, navigation. You see here, driving recommendation volume. I turn it down. It turns up again. Wait, maybe if I set it to plus one. It goes, it's like that Chinese car. No, stop doing that. Nine, go away, Helga. And I also tried the other stuff, driving, but no, no, I don't want, no, no, no. Turn off, but it is, okay, whatever. Let's just get going. Okay, let's go. How many percent do we have? Okay, we want to see percent again. You have to go there, and then you have to go to EQ. 97%. Okay, good enough. Let's go. We are getting close to goal now, and uh, yeah, the battery icon is lit. We have, oh shit, okay, hold on, wait for it, wait for it. There's always this uh, speed limit. There, there. We have driven 174 kilometers now, and the consumption is 370 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> but it is minus 15.5 degrees Celsius outside. Very cold. And we are down to 19%. So we will not make it to uh, Yalo in a single charge. And the best deal is to stop and charge here at Gul because we have high power chargers here. If you go past Gould, then we only have 50 kilowatt, and this car can take 110 kilowatts. So yes, let's uh, get over to uh, Circle K, I guess. I own it. Yeah. Okay, let's navigate to the charger. Let's get as close as possible. But you see, we have 360 camera here. So you enable it. Oh, there, there, there. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Closer, closer. Uh, uh. Closer. Yeah. 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 A little bit more. Yeah. Okay, we're plugged in now and oh, 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 oh that was oh that was pretty close. Oh, that is what I call German precision. <laughs> okay, okay, now let's see, let me see. How fast are we charging? Oh okay, it's ramping up. Oh, can you see that? 34 kilowatt. What? That's it? Hmm? It's quite fast. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. Come on, 50. Huh? That's it? 50? What? Uh, that is a massive cold gate. See, the problem is that the battery cools down during the drive and then we can't drive too fast. So, and I did navigate to the fast charger, but we don't know if it preheats before fast charging or not. Probably not. But wow, it's so cold. It's supposed to be really cold over here, but it doesn't feel that cold because we have the sun helping us and there's almost no wind. So yeah, I haven't been here in a while. Oh, I usually drive directly to Yalo or very close to Yalo. So this is just a Circle K gas station. We have downtown Ghoul and some chargers. And I guess we'll stay here for a while. Okay, we've been charging for a while. I have no idea how long because the screen is impossible to read but we are still receiving 53 kilowatt. I was hoping that it will uh, ramp up, that the battery will heat up, but mm, nine. So unlike the e-tron next to us here, usually the e -tron, whoa, that, that is a massive cable stretch. Bro, maybe try to park a little bit closer next time. Okay, but um, let's just get over to Yalo then. Uh, hopefully we get more than 50 kilowatt once we are there. Okay, let's, let's try to figure out how how long we've been here i kind of want to know okay let me see uh, what does it say what the fuck say 39 minutes i don't know if you guys can read that 39 minutes holy guacamole okay let's get what i wonder if there's something wrong with the charger because we've been steadily locked at 150 amp huh is the charger semi kaput you know i've never seen any of these tritium chargers have any problems they always deliver the package it's it usually boils down to the car but okay let's get over to uh, yellow and then see what we get over there we are now at yellow finally interesting this one is kaput there's some uh, coolant leakage on it so and this one is working and this one is open, working so there also be some coolant first i thought it was coffee but no this is coolant you see this this liquid here so anyway we're charging up now and finally we're getting proper speed Ooh, if you see here what what huh? what wait a minute we were getting 100 kilowatt just right before i started the recording oh there might be some problems with this charger you see there's some service people they are working on that one also so what happened there wait maybe maybe i should switch off the heat no that shouldn't matter switch off the heater now uh, i was getting 100 kilowatt right before we started recording so now only 32 really uh. all right i have decided to go back to ionity because there's something wrong with this one i'm only getting 30 kilowatt the the 50 kilowatt works but i'm getting 42 kilowatt from it so 42 is the fastest we can get right now you see yeah 30 kilowatt only on this one so I think the best deal now is to go back to Ghoul and charge there at the Ionity. <laughs> oh, it was a little bit unfortunate today. We are now at Ghoul charging up. So um, I haven't decided where to go yet, but at least let me see, I made a shortcut key here for energy flow. Yeah, you see 33% right now. So I already kept track of how many percent we arrive with at each stop and I will calculate towards the end. But I'm going to show you a cool feature here. Okay, so let's see. You can actually see um, charging speed. Just like in the EQC. You see that? Uh -huh. Let me adjust it a little bit. Okay, okay. There you see. We see the charging speed. Ooh, 96 kilowatt. It, we started with 85 or something. And it was slowly crawling up now. So the battery is heating up as we charge. So 96. I'll take it. But you see that the charging here only stays there for a little bit and then the screen goes blank but then sometimes it stays on yesterday it stayed on for over an hour so it, it seems to be very moody this car wait wait is it working now oh okay okay well it's working now all right sometimes i have to open the window i mean open the door but i prefer not to sometimes i have to restart just twist the 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 ignition and it will work but now it actually works that's good so Another nice feature I'll show you is that 
you know instead of going here charging option and you set the departure time and then you have to set it to okay let me see it's 1548 so you have to do something like this and say okay 15 they say 1550 something we want the okay that was very close to the okay maybe maybe 50 59 59 okay something like this all right because then if you leave the car you see it's 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 yellow now it will preheat while you're gone but i found out another easier way to do it there's a dead wait is it gonna do it now yeah you will say okay you see now we came to that point where it starts preheating but i'm going to show you something else if we switch this off way easier is this button here it's almost like a keep climate on you press it and it preheats easy and why is it important well because it is freaking cold outside so you always want to keep the car nice and hot while you're charging because it becomes cold quite quick yeah so 96 kilowatt now yeah okay uh, let me figure out where to stop next then we have been camping here for quite some time again yeah that's the reality if you buy an eqv is that you have to charge one because this car is very thirsty but it's also very spacious so if you count seat if, if you take the consumption divided by number of seats then it becomes quite good oh wow so uh right now we are getting 61 kilowatt at 87 <laughs> percent this is almost e-tron charging speed so seems like once the battery heats up then we get a nice and flat charging curve so yeah i'm not sure if i can make it back to oslo i probably have to top up once more so we'll see where i have to stop then yeah i haven't decided yet well actually huh this one claims that we can make it okay we'll see we'll see yeah maybe we should uh, get going now 60 kilowatt i mean <laughs> yeah still pretty good speed but uh, yeah maybe we should leave now we just passed Nesbjörn and over here it is minus 21 degrees Celsius. <laughs> but do I feel the cold? Nah, no problem. Double glazed windows. We are back in Oslo now and we came here with 13%. But we did top up on the way there. So uh, I worked out that uh, on the way up we needed 109% and on the way down we needed 89%. And then as for consumption, what should I say? It's it's a big ass car, okay? And it's a fossil car that has been forcefully muted into electric. So yes, if there is one improvement that Mercedes could do, that would be to maybe close the big ass grill and then make it slightly more efficient because, okay, it is nice to have a 100 kilowatt hour battery, but as long as the car is super uh, inefficient or super thirsty then it almost defeats the purpose well okay and what else is it to say uh, yeah but the good thing is that uh, once we plug in now we received 105 kilowatts yeah so that's that's actually good so it seems like once the battery heats up then it stays kind of warm so that is good yeah so uh, right now i'm actually preparing for the 1000 kilometer challenge i'm going to do it right after this one <laughs> yeah so but overall though okay what should i say about uh, the eqc for long trips it is super comfy it's super well okay maybe not super quiet compared to the other german cars for example compared to eqc or e-tron no it's not as quiet as those cars but as a van yes very nice and comfy seats also great i like this this adjustable arm i mean um what do you call it yeah this adjustable thing here um and what else uh, is it to say plenty of space i of course haven't tried the space here because uh, because of covid obviously we don't want to fill up the car with random people uh -uh, ain't gonna happen maybe i'll put some rice in there no not really but uh, i drive a little bit faster than the, the average so i think that compensate for the the lack of weight so yeah i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoy this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later